Hello and welcome to Getter Farms. We're back with another episode of UMRV Upper Mississippi River Valley by DJ Modding. And today we're going to be busting out this uh, awesome forage harvester here and seeing what we can do to chop some corn and hopefully get into making TMR for our cows. Now I do have a hitch on the back of this, so in theory we'll be able to pull this and fill the chopper box. I know that uh, realistically you might have the roof on a chopper box if you're always doing it with the uh, toe behind like we're doing here, but we don't have that. We've got the high side on it and I might get out here and pull it with a uh, different vehicle and run alongside uh, if we were to ever get a couple of boxes. And so I wanted to leave my options open here so that we could potentially uh, run the chopper on a worker and then have uh, two or more boxes that we're pulling out and uh, unloading on the go and keeping the chopper moving because this is going to require us to stop the chopper once he gets full and deal with the uh, cart here and so I wanted options we'll see how it goes it de definitely as we expand we're going to need to figure something out we may even get a semi at some point I don't know but uh, we're trying to figure out where the driveway is here for our cornfield. I think I see it on the map up here. So we're going to head down this dirt road and see if we can get our way into this field. This cornfield is humongous, though. I'm really curious how much we're going to get off of chopping this field. It should be a lot, though. And we'll see. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to go ahead and hit unfold. Fold. I need to unfold the pipe as well, which I think is O. We can turn our flashers off and fire this thing up. Um, we are going to need some headland passes off of this. We got a telephone pole right here, which is kind of annoying. And it looks like we don't have uh, chopping uh, textures on the field. So that uh, is what it is. I guess the only way I've seen that really done is uh, with a different type of corn. I think I saw they had like a, you plant a type of corn on some of the maps where you intended to chop it and so it would have a different harvested texture. That's all right. It's not uh, that big of a deal. And we are filling up this box fast. We're already at 17% uh, here. We're definitely not gonna get the headlands off at this rate. So we'll have to really think about what we're gonna do to keep up with the chopper here um man i have underestimated our capabilities greatly it's a good thing we've got some money in the uh bank account here still we're gonna definitely have to pick up some more equipment at some point here i'm not exactly sure what equipment we need to pick up just yet but we're gonna need to pick up some equipment so i'm trying to back up as far as i can here just so i can try and chop this corner out it's been a minute since I backed up one of these wagons that's got the tongue that can move. We're doing it, though. We're doing it better than I was backing up the baler, which didn't have any uh, additional moving components. So some skills still uh, hanging in there. And I'm just going to chop this up, and then we're going to try and back up again. I want to take the headlands off. I don't want to be trapped somewhere further down. Uh, but there is a nice grassy uh, side on this field. Here we go. Don't also want to put it in that ditch, so we've got to be real careful here. And I'm going to chop back up. We're going to hit the headland at least four rounds on the headland because this chopper's you know pretty narrow, although we got a pretty wide head on it given how old this chopper is. We've got a six-row head going, which... I feel like is pretty wide for this old chopper. Either way, it seems to be going into this box pretty good. We haven't been having any problems yet, at least with the towing version. I'll be curious to see at some point once we get going on the field how it performs when I'm pulling it alongside. And I am only pulling five of the six rows with here. I'm overlapping quite a bit here on the headland. I don't know. I guess I don't need to overlap quite this far, but we're coming up on the end row here, or the where I need to get back over to the edge anyway, so 
We'll not worry about it too much. We'll use GPS when we get going on the up-down rows for sure. Keep us going straight. I just want to get the headlands off, and it looks like I'll get at least the two passes on the headlands off into this box before we have to unload. So that's going to be a uh, good, nice spot for us to then take this back up to the yard and figure out how we're doing. I do need to also look into some unit convert options. I'd like to change it. I don't think cubic yards is a great way to measure um, our product here. I don't know where, how people generally talk about uh, chaff, you know, from a volume perspective, if it's cubic yards or if you're just measuring it in pounds or tons or whatever. I know when we talk about feed in general, it's pounds or tons. And uh, pulling this big forage box up the hill a little bit slow there at times, but it's doing it. It's champing it out. So I'm impressed. I uh, was a little bit worried that this thing wasn't going to work out as well for us as I'd hoped. But, you know, I think this is a perfect sized uh, piece of equipment for our farm. And I think this is going to work out really well for us. We're going to be able to tackle this field in a reasonable amount of time with a header this wide. And look at that, we're full, just didn't quite get to the end row. So I'm going to go ahead and shut that down. And we'll back ourselves up here a bit, drop that guy off. And then I'm pull him back up here. Oh, he's trying to unload into something. We'll shut him down and we'll go get a tractor to pull this forge box. Um, I'm going to get the 7810 for that, I think. The 7810 just being probably a little bit faster on the road speed, I think, and a little bit more power. So I think we'll get there and back a bit faster. It's going to be all about speed as we try to uh, take these uh, forage boxes back and forth from the farm. We want to keep that forage harvester going, if you know what I mean. All right, let's see if we can get hooked up here. Is this thing going to tr really try and uh, put it in my bucket? Is that what's going on? All right, so I've got the box. We're all hooked up. Let's see if we can get this thing up to the farm and hopefully get it unloaded into this harvest store without any problems. I'm pretty sure this chaff is going to uh, give us quite a bit of silage and I would love, love to get to making TMR. Uh, I do think we need to get that straw figured out though sooner than later. I hope that the uh, soybean and cornstalk straws are set up to go into the um, TMR mix. We'll have to figure that out. I think there's some mods that might let us uh, do that a little bit differently too. If not, um, I can always edit the map and add those into the mix. We might go and harvest a few rounds of corn uh, the old-fashioned way just to get some corn stock bales so we can try it out here at some point. I don't know. We'll have to uh, see what our options are. But uh, First up here, let's just worry about getting the silage makers moving forward here. All right, we're going to go through that box one more time. Something's uh, causing me just a little bit of confusion here. Maybe we were actually too close, not too far. All right, I see the box. I think it's this whole area. There we go. We're a bit far away now, but I must have just been out of the uh, appropriate zone. We'll figure out a better zone for ourselves here in the future, so it uh, hopefully looks maybe a little bit more realistic than this. But that's all right. Everything is working. We're unloading our chaff, and uh, yeah, we've got a realistic unloading speed on here. Yippee. For those that don't know, I'm a little bit impatient at times, so this is... Uh, this is leading me to think that we're going to need a couple of these and we'll get one on each tractor and we can uh, keep the forage harvester chopping here even while uh, one of these is unloading. The other one can be uh, keeping the forage harvester going and we'll see how that works out either way. We're getting quite a bit of chaff moved into the silo here. If we look at the production screen, you can see we're going to be um, it's not quite one-to-one. -one. We actually lose a smidge of our chaff going into silage here, which is interesting. 
but we're already making the silage. We've got uh, 1.5 cubic yards. Again, I need to figure out how we can maybe convert this to a different unit, but I'm excited. We're making progress, and that means we're going to have TMR here very soon. Uh, I think what we're going to do is just as a great way to kind of wrap up this cycle, I'm going to finish dumping this, and then we're going to go get our mixer while this is dumping, actually, and we'll see how much uh, we actually need. I think I can make TMR with just the hay and the silage here. And so we're gonna see, I think I've got too much hay in here though to get to an appropriate mix with silage, maybe not. That's the problem with the bale methodology that we've been using is this little mixer, if I put one hay bale in, I don't have enough room to put in anything else to get to my TMR mix because my bale size is too big. We might have to look into maybe using a smaller size bale in the future so that we have less material per bale when we're putting it into this feeder or you know honestly we probably just need a bigger feed wagon so let's see if i can make it work out here i'm gonna test this out and see if we can get to the right mix so i got to my 25 percent forage or 20 something percent forage that i need but i still have too much hay um, oh, that's because we don't have enough uh, silage in the thing to actually top me off. I'm really hoping this works out because if it doesn't, we're going to be in some trouble. I don't know how we're going to get uh, stuff out of here. I'm going to tick this forward to noon just to make sure that we've generated enough. There we go. Oh, wow, look at all that silage. And yeah, so we're 100% full up, but I didn't end up with enough uh to make this work so what we're gonna do is i'm gonna have to figure out how to dump some of this forage to continue making our mix i think i can dump it into the harvest store here so these are the simple problems for someone like me who hasn't done a lot with animals is just figuring out how to uh make an appropriate mixture of stuff, especially with our little wagon here. So luckily, I can dump into the harvest store. So I'm going to take us down to maybe 50% here. There we go. And that leaves us with, you know, a, the similar mixture stats. And if I swing back around here, we can put some more silage into our feed there we go and then if I come back around ooh, I can't get that that forage back out of this thing I've got silo forage here and forage oh I need to activate it and then that can be an outgoing product maybe oh so it converted it into hay and silage in their respective uh, categories here. So when I put the forage back into this facility, um, I got their root materials so I can pull that hay and the silage back out. That's actually pretty cool. So if I click around in here until I find hay, yep, there's my hay. What do you know? Okay, well, that's cool. So now I've got total mixed ration with just the um, hay and silage. It looks like I can use the corn stalk bales for the straw in here based on uh, the picture down there. It looks like TMR has been updated to corn stalk bales, which will be awesome because we're going to have a uh, the ability to get a whole bunch of those. So we might leave a little bit of that cornfield uh, set up there so that we can get those. But for the time being, what I really want to do is get this TMR mix into our feed pen. I know we've got a ton of hay in here already for our animals, and that's just gonna sit in there as our backup plan if I ever forget to uh, keep them fed with the TMR. We wanna get this TMR in here so that we can keep the cows going, make sure that they're super productive. Um, that productivity should hopefully start to rise here. And I really don't know what's up with the uh, low health here. That's going to be a problem, though, because it's going to keep us from having our cows reproduce. So this needs to get figured out here very quickly over the course of the uh, next episode or so. 
but uh, I'll try and uh, dig into what's going on with that off camera. And we're just going to keep trucking here on uh, getting our cows fed. So next episode, we'll be diving into the forage harvesting uh, in a big way. We may have to pick up some additional equipment to make that more efficient. That's uh, all part of the plan, though. And yeah, hopefully you've enjoyed today's episode. There's been a lot of uh, figuring out how to do some new things, which is uh, the whole point of uh, this series for me is to uh, get into dairy farming in a serious way for the first time. And we'll see how it goes. That's all for today. Ketterk, out. We probably just need a bigger feeler, feeder. We probably just need a bigger feed wagon. <laughs>